Hello students, I am Dr. Amit Bhatnagar, working as Senior Research Officer in the Department of Agronomy at G.B. Panth University of Agriculture and Technology, Panthnagar, Uttarakhand. Here, we will discuss about the concept of organic farming. When we talk about organic farming, then we think simply that it is the just use of FYM or compost or no use of chemical. But it is not like that. Organic farming is consists of different concept. It is not merely use of uh, organic source of nutrient. Uh, it is based on many concepts and these concepts can be categorized into four group. So this is the concept based farming. So first of all, we should think about what are the concepts and what are the basis behind the concept and what are the achievement, how we can achieve if we are using the or adapting organic farming then what is the concept and what is the idea behind the concept we will discuss here so these concept can be categorized in four groups organic concept holistic concept living soil concept and healthy plant concept so these are four concept of organic farming but what are these concept what is the basis behind this concept why there is so only and what is the attainment or what is the achievement or what to we find or what is the output of this concept we'll discuss here so first is organic concept so organic concept in organic farming is not only the use of organic source of nutrient or organic source of any insect or disease repellent it is not like that no doubt in organic farming organic sources are used Crop residues are used, FYM is used, but here organic means living organism. For example, the organic products are produced in a plant. The plant is a living body. Similarly, here organic means the living system. So farm where uh, this practice are adopting is considered as a living. So farm is considered as a living organism. So this is the concept that we consider farm agriculture farm as a living organism how we consider a living organism a farm uh, for example a living body or a living animal there are different uh, organ hand mouth ear nose leg and these organ have a coordination and that's why a animal or human can walk uh, and then can do uh, his function similarly if farm is considered uh, organic means uh, considered living so there are different factors or different resources are available on farm and if these factors or resources or growth factors are supporting or in coordination then this coordination or interaction create a healthy environment and in this environment plant and animal grow vigorously productively and produce the healthy food. So it means if farm is considered organic, means farm is considered living, living organism, living organism, here organic means, please uh, note that organic means not the use of organic source of nutrient, no, organic means living organism. So here farm is considered living organism. So like a living organism, farm uh, also act to some, uh, uh, perform some action, some activities. And how these activities these activities are in interaction or coordination among the uh, growth factors or resources which are available on farm soil microorganism plant climate animal human being which are present on farm they interact and create a healthy environment so here the base is interaction among interaction among supporting factors supporting growth factors to create a healthy environment and in this environment plant and animal grow to produce the healthy food so here the basic idea or basic concept behind the organic farm is to utilize the interaction so that plant and animal produce healthy food so achievement is healthy food so this is the concept of organic farming that we can get healthy food 
from the uh, farm organic farm if we are considering organic farm then the basic concept is to obtain the healthy food so this is the concept of organic farm the achievement is healthy food how the utilization of interaction among the growth uh, supporting factors soil microorganism animal plant तो जो फार्म पे जो भी रिसोर्सेज हैं सपोर्टिंग फैक्टर्स हैं सॉइल है माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म है जो भी ऑर्गेनिज्म है एनिमल है ह्यूमन बीइंग है उनमें आपस में क्या इंट्रैक्शन हो रहा है उन इंट्रैक्शन को पॉजिटिव इंट्रैक्शन को यूज़ किया जाता है क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन में जिससे कि एक हेल्दी इन्वायरमेंट क्रिएट होता है और उस हेल्दी इन्वायरमेंट में जो प्लांट प्रोड्यूस करेंगे जो एनिमल प्रोड्यूस होगा वो बड़ा हेल्दी फूड प्रोड्यूस करेंगे सो द अचीवमेंट इज़ हेल्दी फूड Another concept is holistic concept. Holistic concept means the whole approach and whole means the agro ecosystem is considered as a whole. So agro ecosystem is considered as a whole unit, as a whole. So means the different component of agro ecosystems are not considered separately. So we consider that the all the activities or the total agro ecosystem is one one activity in agro ecosystem affect the uh, other activity of uh, farm also suppose if we are applying the uh, nutrient so this nutrient also affect the other area if we are applying the uh, any uh, uh, means of uh, uh, disease uh, resistance or disease prevention certainly it uh, it affect the other uh, part or other crop also so agro ecosystem is considered as a whole so activities are not in isolation one activity affect the other activity also so if uh, we are considering the one component so definitely a small activity will affect the uh, productivity or efficiency of the system so here the basic idea or basic concept to consider agro ecosystem is that the different biological cycles are there different interactions between soil plant climate animal are there so utilize this biological cycle for example nitrogen biological cycle is there mineralization is there nutri uh, nutrient release is there so use this biological cycle biological interaction predators are there parasites are there so these are biological interactions so use this biological interaction in the crop production similarly there is an interaction between the plant and uh, soil soil plant climate interaction is very good so in different type of environment we can grow different type of crop similarly uh, some soil prefers uh, some crops so we can grow uh, crop according to soil so means to utilization of biological cycles and interaction biological uh, cycle and interaction in the farm so that the activities are maintained so these biological since biological cycle are in nature and continuous cycle so these cycles are uh, utilized for the crop production on in organic farming similarly interactions are used without uh, affecting the other system if an adversely uh, ill if, uh, activity or adversely affected activity is performed in one location of the farm definitely it affect the other activity also so it is not done only biological cycles and what are the positive interaction these are used and we consider that if we are doing a ill uh, activity definitely definitely it affect the whole Form. so biological cycles and interaction given importance in holistic approach and what is the achievement achievement is that if we are using this interaction mineralization nitrogen fixation phosphorus solubilization etc definitely the system productivity and efficiency is improved if system productivity and efficiency is improved sustainability is attained so achievement is system uh, system productivity and efficiency is increased system productivity and efficiency is increased so it means it is not a short process it is a long run process so organic farming 
is not just growing one crop, two crop, three crop or just adoption for one year, two year or three year. It is not like that. So organic farming is a long term, we can say it is a process where biological cycles are being used, interactions are used and we are considering the whole farm as a one unit. So activities are done very carefully so that system is not adversely affected. Then another concept is living soil concept. Here living soil concept is mean soil is healthy and soil is healthy if it is productive. So healthy soil, healthy soil and productive soil. If it is productive, it is it has capacity to produce the yield. So it means soil is uh, live. So it is the living soil concept that is linked with the productive soil and which is uh, ultimately linked with the healthy soil. If soil is healthy, definitely its productivity will be high. Means to produce the capacity to produce the yield will be high. And this productivity is also related with the soil fertility. So if soil fertility is high, definitely productivity will be high. So we can say soil is a living uh, system or we can say soil as a living concept if its productivity is high. So it means if to maintain the healthy soil, to maintain the productivity, its fertility uh, should be high. So how we can maintain this productivity soil? So the basic idea behind is that if humus or organic matter content in soil is high, then soil is productive for uh, many years. So basic idea is the humus, what is the humus content and organic matter content in soil. So that's why emphasis is given in organic form to increase the humus content and organic matter content to maintain or uh, the soil productivity. So we can say if soil productivity is high, then we can say it is the living soil because it is producing the crop. If soil is dead, it means soil is not producing the yield. It means there is no nutrient, no organic matter, no humus. That's why there is no production. If soil is living, it means it, it is producing the crop. It is producing the grain. And it is possible if humus and organic matter content is high. So that's why practices are done in such a way that humus is maintained, organic matter is maintained. So that's why more emphasis on residue, crop rotation, legume, incorporation, uh, and the uh, biomass uh, recycling is there in organic form. So achievement is there that high organic matter content and high humus and this high organic matter content in humus increases the soil properties, soil properties, soil physical properties like uh, uh, physical properties like soil structure is improved, aggregation is improved, aeration is improved, water holding capacity is improved, soil physical uh, chemical properties are improved, uh, cation exchange capacity is improved, pH comes into normal range, EC comes into normal range, uh, then uh, available nutrient index or availability of nutrient increases, mineralization increases. So these are the chemical properties, biological properties also improved because if humus is there or matter is there, micro activity increases. So microbes are very important in nutrient transformation, mineralization. So overall the soil properties are improved whether it is physical, chemical or biological. Then humus uh, is high, then humus uh, uh, is proved that it increases the resistance of plant against the adverse agroclimatic condition and diseases and insects. So it provide resistance, humus provide resistance to plant against uh, low moisture stress diseases so if humus content is high definitely there is more resistance in plant so more resistance in plant then healthy plant will be there more productivity will be there so that's why there is a living soil concept so according to living soil concept our emphasis is on to increase the humus and organic content of the organic form then Another last one is healthy plant concept. In healthy plant concept is that if plant is healthy, then it uh, uh, will show resistance against the diseases and insects. Then there will be no need to apply the any insecticide or fungicide. So if we have healthy plant, then we will say that there will not be any disease, there will not be any insects, and we will not put any insecticides or insecticide or fungicides. Ko. So nowadays uh, hybrids are used in cultivation and hybrids uh, have 
narrow genetic base and because of this narrow genetic base hybrids are susceptible to diseases and insects so when we grow the herbicide there is more chance of disease and insects and to prevent this disease and insect we apply more uh, pesticides and these pesticides uh, create the pollution in soil in ground in air as well as this toxic residue remain in food so this create another type of problem so with the use of herbicide there is more use of pesticide so if plant is healthy then there will be no need of uh, this pesticide and chemical free environment is there no chemical no toxic residue in plant and food and uh, total life uh, will be uh, very good if these toxic chemicals are not present in the system so it means to use the healthy plant so how we can use the healthy plant so indigenous indigenous plants uh, are well adapted and broad genetic base indigenous plant because of broad genetic base have resistance to disease and uh, insects and no need to apply the insecticide and the fungicides तो अगर हम इंडिजीनियस प्लांट्स को ग्रो कर रहे हैं तो उनमें नेचुरल रेसिस्टेंस होती है कि उनका जेनेटिक बेस ब्रॉड होता है अडेप्टेड होती हैं तो उन क्रॉप्स को उगाने में ग्रो करने में फार्मर को ज़्यादा इंसेक्टिसाइड या पेस्टिसाइड डालने की जरूरत नहीं होती है उसमें केमिकल कंट्रोल करने की कोई जरूरत नहीं होती है क्योंकि वो ऑलरेडी रेसिस्टेंस है बहुत ही कम उसमें डिसीज़ का इंसिडेंस होता है और इंसेक्ट्स का अटैक भी कम होता है तो इट मीन्स हेल्दी प्लांट कंसेप्ट मीन्स ग्रो द इंडिजीनियस प्लांट एंड ग्रो द प्लांट्स विच हैव broad genetic base so achievement is that uh, pesticide use is uh, no use of pesticide no use of pesticide so is there no use of pesticide so no pollution no pollution or pollution free environment and no toxic residue no toxic residue in food or uh, food system so these are the Uh, advantages of growing healthy plants means no application of uh, these chemicals or uh, uh, pesticides so these are the basic concept of organic farming and these are the basic idea behind that uh, use the interaction among the uh, farm resources interaction uh, among the soil plant climate and the use of biological cycle maintenance of humus and organic content and use of indigenous and broad genetic base plant so these are the basic uh, idea behind this concept and the achievement is healthy food so if we are uh, adopting the organic farming to so healthy food is obtained and system productivity is maintained efficiency is maintained means system is sustainable then soil properties are improved and soil properties are improved means definitely soil productivity will be high and more uh, production in long run and as well as Uh, this humus provide the resistance of plant uh, resistance against the disease and insects then uh, in last in healthy plant concept since we are using uh, indigenous varieties so synthetic uh, chemicals are not used so system is free from the chemical there is no pollution no ground water pollution no soil pollution and no toxic residue in the food chain and the food items so that's why our life is safe so these are the basic concept in organic farming and these are the some achievements so this was about the uh, concept of organic farming thank you very much